part two. So in this video I'm going to uh, cover some of the basics of editing your model, some of the shape controls. So um, let me get started with that. Also I'm going to talk about cameras, right? So say I was going to be working on a footman, right? It's a very basic Warcraft unit. We start with the footman. Uh, here I've got it open in the matrix seater, covered in the last video of how to do that. Uh, and you can see you've got this. So already, sort of without even thinking, you know, I'm, I'm doing some view controls here. So let me talk about how those work, right? You can uh, click and drag the mouse wheel to move the model in the viewport. You can also scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in. So like if I was going to work on the footman's head, I could scroll to zoom in and it'll zoom to where my mouse is and I can mouse wheel drag to uh, get to that head to be able to edit it. Uh, if you don't have a mouse wheel on your computer, you can also use the plus button and the minus button and some of these arrow keys to move around your viewpoint. Right? Now if you do have a mouse wheel and you really like your mouse wheel, you can go view show viewport buttons to turn this off so that those buttons go away. That way you're using more of your screen um, and using your mouse wheel. So it's a choice there that you have as you work. And you can mouse wheel drag and zoom all these to work on whatever part of the model you wanted to work on. Uh, also with that, as you're working on the model, you can control uh, what you, which parts you're going to edit based on the vertices, right? So right now in the 3D view, you actually see a footman. It looks like a footman, but in the other parts of the model, you see all these little tiny black dots connected by gray lines, right? The gray lines represent a uh, a 3D face, which is a triangle made from three dots, and the dots represent a vertex. Now with these vertices, right, you can draw a box around them by dragging the mouse using select and uh, that'll turn them red. All red vertices are selected and when you right click to perform some kind of edit operation it'll edit those selected vertices. With that if you hold shift it'll change up here to add. You can also just click the add button and if you hold alt or click the deselect button uh, you can control whether you will say right now I'm holding alt, deselect a red dot, turn it back to being black or add a red dot as opposed to specifically selecting only what you draw a box around. By doing that, you can grab several dots, pick what you want. So, like, say I have this uh, footman's little ponytail right here, right? I've just selected all of the dots in it, right? I could right-click to perform a move operation based on which operation is green. The green is the right-click operation. Uh, and I can drag around that ponytail, say. Or uh, if I moved it and then I didn't like where it ended up, you can do Edit, Undo, Move, and that'll put it back. Uh, alternatively, you have Control Y and Control Z for redo, undo, right? So you can redo and undo a move operation like that. You can also rotate. Say I wanted to uh, rotate this thing to make the ponytail, you know, come out of the front of his head. Say I could rotate it all the way around by just dragging my mouse in a circle there, like I did, and then do a right-click move. You know, say move it up to the front of his head. You know, and now I have a silly-looking footman with a ponytail thing coming out of the front of his head. You know. Um, you also have some operations like extend and extrude and scale. Maybe I wanted this thing to be smaller but like longer, right? You can come over here and now extend, say I select to turn red these vertices, you know, I can I can elongate the shape with the extend operation, right? Now I've got like a really long, weird looking ponytail thing coming out of the footman's head. Using that extend operation and the right click. You also have choices such as clone. So say I was going to select all these dots again to get this entire ponytail thing. I click clone. It turns blue, which means it's waiting to activate until I move the shape that's selected. Now, or rotate. You can move, rotate, or scale, and it'll perform clone. So now I've moved to the side, and it moved a clone that it just created as I did that. Uh, with that, then I can rotate and edit this clone. Say I wanted him to have like, you know, three ponytails coming out of his head. I don't know. Right, you can clone and rotate again or move to create that cloned version of that shape. And now my footman has uh, three of these coming out of the front of his head. Now say I was looking at this and I suddenly decided, you know, gosh, I really don't want him coming out of his head. Maybe I actually liked it in the back even though I like it longer. You can select all of them uh, using shift select right now. So I'm doing another add to select those and rotate them back around say and move it back to the back of his head. Right now I've got a footman with some crazy looking dreadlocks. You know, um, there you go.